Oh. Guessing this is trespassing, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The bottle was just to distract the other one. Sorry to bother. Just stack them up there. Perfect. Curious what they were protecting in here. Oh, it's a whole, like, instance. Oh. Oh. They didn't see me. I can't believe they didn't see the body. Oh, they're smoking right there. We're not a bloody bed of breakfast, are we? So get out! Did that actually work? Oh my god. I cannot believe that worked. It's not you. It's me. Oh, I haven't been looting the bodies. A sandwich? It's not even moldy. All these bodies, I already forgot. Definitely not that one. I think that's it. Just a small cellar. Yeah, not missing anything. Don't think so. I think that's it. So we've been here before. Yeah, you really don't find much. You find some things off the beaten path, but not much. The cellar is like almost the only thing, I think. So I think we're just about ready to go to Salamanca Bridge. I'll check like this area a little bit. Kind of like go along the coast, I guess. something to drink. I could take alcohol. Oh, I actually need something to drink now. I'm in the red. I don't want to drink the grapefruit juice. That seems really rare. I could just have alcohol. Scotch. I mean, I can use that to bribe, but eh. I'm thirsty. 
I wonder if the plague and the blight are the same thing. It's not very scientific, I suppose. Yeah, we're not going to find anything more. Let's go up to Salamanca Bridge. Yo, I wish I kept in shape. Oof. How many healing thingies do I have? Oh, I have six skill points. Does it say how many I have right now? One available in inventory, so I had none. Yeah, let's make a bunch more. Oh, skill points. Six, I was saving up for Herbalist. Takes five. Healing items are 50% more effective. That is fantastic. Intimidating and kind of creepy. Oh, there's a guard there. Oh, they're going to want proper people, right? So I shouldn't be wearing a torn suit. Proper suit. The people back there won't like the proper suit, but here we should be fine. Talk your way past the Bobby. Oh, I can probably bribe him with scotch. Constable Wright. That is an incredibly creepy mask. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off there, Joy, can actually take Joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, Bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. <laughs> it's hilarious holding up some random piece of garbage that spins and looks kind of cool. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Yeah, I can fry it. Right? Oh, no. Can't fry that. What other way do you mean? Oh. Information and security. No one has been in here for a very long time. Now serving one. 
Is it weird if I'm just searching file cabinets? It's kind of weird. I shouldn't Please be take weird. A and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Sure. Wait. <laughs> number two. Now serving number two. Yay. Welcome to the rehabilitation center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Okay. Okay. St. Genesis? Genesius? Spare Sovereigns? To return to Hamlin Village. Pick a number, head into the elevator. Mm hmm. For rehabilitation, place belongings in pneumatic stash. Discard old clothes. Take a nice cold shower. Put on proper decent clothes, provided. Put on a fragrance. Papa Joy. Vanilla chocolate or strawberry. Others oh, flavors. Watch an Uncle Jack video. Answer a quiz. If after curfew, spend the night in a cozy cottage. Retrieve belongings from the pneumatic stash. Take elevator and exit. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. God, this game is so good looking. your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. It's so cool, but also creepy that these things open up. They look like weird orifices. I'm gonna have to take my joy to get through here. That's gonna be interesting. Should I take these things, or should I just not touch them? No, I'm gonna take them. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Gaby, one of my cats keeps coming up on my desk and rubbing the microphone. If you hear weird noises right now, that's why. Yeah, baby. Oh, she's loving the petsies right now. You all right? Um, how do I discard my clothes? Do I need to literally, like, drop these? I guess, probably. Oh, recycle clothing. There we go. I hope I get those back. I guess I probably won't, though, will I? Congratulations! You have been decontaminated! 
please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Oh, I hope she's not watching and judging. I wonder when the last time Arthur had a shower was. Look at these lights, they're so strange. They look like something you'd see in the deep sea. A clean worker is a keen worker. That is really creepy. Oh my god, it looks like it's pulling that towel out of its ass or vagina or some sort of orifice down there. Proper suit. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? Why licorice? Licorice? For the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's moving, kinda, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that is so weird. God, this game is so incredibly colorful. Mental purification. Right. Right. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, thank you. I see. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? What the hell? I don't like that. I don't like that. Scott is so colorful. It's never too late to have a happy past. Yes, it is. Mood booth. Alright. Oh, you want a strawberry? Yeah, that's probably what I would have went with. Joy makes you happy, but take care not to take too much. The joy meter will help you track your joy experimentation. If the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties to combat crafting and conformity until the overdose passes. As you take more joy, you will notice a memory loss counter around the joy meter. The counter tracks your memory loss from taking joy too many times. When this meter is full, you will crash and suffer severe penalties. For this reason, reason you should use joy tactically and only when necessary. Oh. oh, that feels entirely too good. <laughs> oh, we have a different walk. Look at that. It's like, ha ha ha, everything's great. Everything's so much more vibrant and it was already really damn vibrant. Couldn't be better, thanks. Righto. All right. All right. All right, let's go. Please head into the theater and take a seat. They might mind if I search the body. Let's not search the body. Just keep eyes open. This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. Use the cozy cottages if you must. Front row seat. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. 
<laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Oh my god. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it. But a word to the wise, proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Okay, so anything that even suggests I'm doing something nefarious is bad, even just crouching, jumping. God, no. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier. What question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! <laughs> I think I got this one. theme here with the last option did you go see did you go the eyes again that's right player one just popping a joy is not always enough we do have standards you know player two i'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes <laughs> jack constable 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 your question right well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh God, the eyes. You went with C again, didn't you? Do try to pay attention. 
we want you to succeed. <gasps> Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers, B. Talk about old times, C. Stop staring at me, why is everything staring? We don't talk about the past, so flowers. You went with C again, didn't you? Excellent! Yes! Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet! They do so love flowers! Oh dear! It looks like the eyes have you both, as they say. How disappointing! Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. Uh... Who cares? Who cares? I think? That's right. Play yes. One. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench. No worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's a relief. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back mm -hmm. to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper decent citizen. What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. See ya. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question did you have for our prodigal son or daughter? <laughs> what a fit in. You should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet. Like how you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. See the eyes, the eyes. Oh yeah, so I was gonna uh, mention this. It seems like the person we saw near the beginning of the game forcefully injecting somebody at the place we worked before we were found out to be a downer. I guess they must have been a doctor. They're the ones that will just inject you if they have detected that you haven't taken your joy, and apparently they just know that you haven't taken your joy, unlike other people, which are a little easier to fool. On to the village. So it said it's curfew time, right? So I think I need to sleep. Oh my god, it's just a picture of a bright outside. It's 9.40 p.m. You really think that's believable? Ah, the stash. Um. Uh. So this is... This isn't just the stuff that I put away. This is the stuff I put away plus everything I already had in my pneumatic stash. Yeah. So I need to go through this manually, don't I? Oh, that sucks. Okay. I think I got all the important stuff. Oh, I might have already had some crafting ingredients on me that I want to put in here. Uh, eh, whatever. Shredded raincoat. Coarse linen. Oh, it's part of what I need to make the padded suit. I couldn't feel better, could you? Uh, yeah, let's sleep until there's not a curfew, which I don't know. I'm assuming it would be like around eight, nine. Sweet dreams, Arthur. 
Oh, the joy wore off, didn't it? It did wear off. How do I take more joy? Like, I don't have any on me. So the joy meter in the top left doesn't... I don't think that... It, how does that work? It doesn't seem to indicate that I'm currently on joy, because, like, it's all filled up white, and it's got a little bit of a white bar around it filling up, and yet I'm obviously not on joy. So I think that's more of my joy toxicity. Good luck, buddy. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. I wonder how they enforce the curfew. Probably with the robot things, which I think are mentioned somewhere in a skill thing. This? Tech friendly. Spangers, peepers, and jubilators take longer to detect you. Yeah, twice the acquisition time. In fact, even that little video they show, it looks like it's nighttime. Yeah. So that be, might be the time that you want to go out to try to, like, steal stuff during the nighttime. But then you got to worry about the cameras and stuff patrolling around. Welcome home! Isn't this wonderful? Oh, I can't remember the last time someone came through. Welcome back to civilization. Lovely day for it. What a lovely day to promenade. Lovely day for it. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on. You're not Harry. Nothing but blue skies. We must catch up sometime. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. So from here, I've got to get to St George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. <laughs> How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden Home. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Break into the old government printing office. <gasps> Looting a trash can would probably be considered suspicious, right? But I guess if nobody sees me, then nothing to worry about, right? I wonder if sprinting would also be considered bad. Now entering maiden home. Okay, so I could take more joy in here. They're just... Yeah, I guess joy isn't something you really have on you as like a physical item. You have to go into a booth for it. But yeah, like, just you, a general person, you're not going to notice that I'm doing anything weird. They're not going to notice that I'm not on joy. It's only doctors that would notice. So, like, I really don't need to be on joy right now, then. And I shouldn't, because it'll affect my memory. Oh, the uh, joy thing in the top left is actually starting to drain out. I'm guessing I should wait for that to completely drain before I take another joy if I want to limit the memory effects and all that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore Maidenholm, where it seems like the game changes a lot with how you play it. I'm going to have to rethink basically everything about how I play, because now I have to blend in 